Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing vegan seafood products. I have 11 different items here for us to taste test. And I'm so excited! I'm so nervous, but I'm very excited. I haven't tried any of these products yet, so I have no idea what to expect. I don't think I've tried any vegan seafood actually. Before I went vegan, seafood was always my favorite thing to eat. I had it multiple times a week, and when anybody asks me now, what do you miss most? My answer has been and always will be seafood. So I'm excited to see how these are. We're gonna go over taste, texture, all of those things, as well as pricing and the nutrition facts on all of these. So let's get started. Okay, so I have the first five items here ready to go. But before we start, I wanna give you like my plan of action for the whole taste test. And I'm gonna try everything as is. Then if it makes sense, I'm gonna try it again with a little lemon juice and some vegan tartar sauce that I made. Cause I feel like that's what a lot of these fried seafoods were always served with. And I enjoyed them that way. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm really excited and really nervous. So the first item we're gonna try are these fish sticks. They look good. They got really, really crispy. These are from Good Catch and they were $5.99. I got these at Target. There are 10 sticks in the box and one serving is five sticks. And there's 12 grams of protein in these. So for every five sticks, you're getting 12 grams of protein. Let's do it. It kind of smells like a fish stick, normal. Mm, really crispy. Ooh. Look at the texture in there. It's so flaky. On the box, it actually says to serve the fish sticks with a tartar sauce. So I'm definitely gonna dip these. I really like them alone so far, but let's just do a little dip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> these are good. These are really good. I would definitely get these again. They were really, really easy to make. I just pan fried them. They crisped up really nicely. They were ready in five minutes. Texture's perfect. Flavor's really good. You totally eat them alone if you wanted, but they are like next level with the vegan tartar sauce. Next up, we are gonna try the Mind Blown Dusted Scallops. These were expensive. These were $13.99 and I can only find these on the GTFO vegan website. And I will say the cooking instructions are wrong. It says to only cook them for one minute per side. They are not done after two minutes. I think it actually took five, which is still not bad, but it's just not accurate. And they're small. Like this is not the size of a sea scallop. Another thing about these, there are 25 in the box, so you do get quite a lot, but 11 of them is one serving and there's only two grams of protein. So I wouldn't recommend this if you're looking to up your plant-based protein, this is not the option. Let's try it. I'm nervous for these because scallops are iffy. They're a little rubbery, they're a little chewy, but that could be because I cooked them for more than two minutes, but they were still frozen. I'm gonna try this with a little, actually just lemon juice because I never put tartar sauce on scallops. That one was better texture wise. It's definitely like the spongy texture that you get with the scallop. But with that one, the breading on it, whatever coating they have for like the dusted scallop, it was still very powdery. It didn't break down. And that was even for me cooking it for longer than I was supposed to. I didn't love those, probably would not get again. I do think a better option and a cheaper option if you want scallops is to just get king oyster mushrooms, use the stems and slice them into rounds. They're perfect. Next thing we're gonna try are these mind blown coconut shrimp. I'm terrified to try these, but these are also from mind blown. They were also $13.99 and I also got these on the GTFO. It's vegan website. It's eight pieces in a box. Serving size is three, one gram of protein. Okay. Also, it has like the pink striations like real shrimp has, so that's interesting. Um, and the breading did fall off a little bit in the pan, but that's fine. Obviously, I'm avoiding eating this. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Okay, let's just do it. No, 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 no. No. Oh my God, it's so bad. No. Mm -hmm. 
these are so bad. <laughs> and it, it has everything to do with the texture. They're fully rubber. It has nothing to do with the flavor. The coconut flavor is fine. The texture is just so rubbery. I can't, I don't even want to try this with lemon juice or tartar sauce, but I'll just try a little tartar sauce. No. Oh my god, you see this? Do you see this? No. I'm not finishing that. No. It's disgusting. It's so gross. The scallops were much better. If you want to try any of these, do not try the coconut shrimp. Try the dusted scallops. I need to get that texture out of my mouth. I'm moving on. The next thing we're trying are these Omni plant-based crab cakes. I ordered these online, but you can get them at Walmart actually, and they're $5.99. There's a five in a bag, and a serving size is the whole bag and there's 27 grams of protein. So that's like five per crab cake. Ooh. I broke it, but I will say the texture inside is perfect. It's very crab cake-like, and the outside is nice and crispy. Oh, very crispy. These are good, the texture's perfect. I'm definitely gonna add some lemon juice and do a little tartar sauce, because I think that will make these next level. So good. Really, really good. Would recommend, would get those again. Next item that we have are these Omni fish fillets. And I'm excited to try these now because the crab cakes were so good and they're from the same brand. But these are $7.99, there's three in a bag. Serving size is one, and there's only six grams of protein. It definitely got nice and crispy and the texture on the inside looks good. So I'm gonna try it plain. The texture is great, the flavor is lacking. We're going lemon juice and definitely a little tartar sauce. Yeah. These were really, really good once I added the lemon juice and the tartar sauce, so I would definitely have these again in like fish and chips style, uh, but I would not eat them totally plain. They're just lacking. Just needs like a little boost of flavor, so those two items definitely, definitely helped. The last frozen item that we have today are these plant-based salmon burgers from Good Catch. These were $9.29, and there's only two in a package but there is 16 grams of protein per burger. I do think that they're a great size. Texture looks like shredded salmon put into a burger, so that is good. Let's just try it. That's weird. Really crispy on the outside, on both sides, but the inside is so soft, like it's so, it's like kind of mushy. I'm gonna try it now with like a little bit of the lemon and the tartar sauce because it does say to pair it with a sauce. Flavor wise, it's definitely better with that, but I'm just not loving the texture on the inside. Like it's very, very soft. It looks like it's the right texture. It's just, I don't know if I like it. If you dress this up, on an actual burger with everything, it would be really, really good. If you're into salmon burgers or you liked them before you went vegan or you're just curious to try it, I don't think you would be disappointed or think it's disgusting or not wanna eat it. Next, we're moving on to the sashimi and I am terrified, okay? Let's just get that out of the way, I'm terrified. I think they did a really good job with the salmon. The tuna could be a little more realistic, like that color is not right, <laughs> but Whatever. These were $9.99 for a pack. Half of this giant block is the serving size and in that there's only 0 0.3 grams of protein. I think that's terrible considering that fish are really a great source of protein for people. On the package it just says to slice, dip, nom. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna treat this as true sashimi and just dip it in some soy sauce and see how it goes. They look like jelly. Look at this. <gasps> no. I slice them very thin on purpose, but two, they're so they're so slippery. I've dipped in the soy sauce. So let's try. Let's try. God. Why are you hesitating? Just put it in your mouth. Just put it in your mouth. Just put it in your mouth. Okay. <clears throat> no. No. Hold on, I actually want to taste it without the soy sauce. Um, no, mm, no. It really doesn't taste like anything, and it's very watery. When I ate it with the soy sauce, I felt like more water just came out, like there was a lot of liquid going on, and I really didn't dip that much. The tuna has that same, like, 
flabby, rubbery, slimy. It's not slimy. Uh, slippery. Slippery is a better word. I have a feeling that it's gonna be the same as the salmon, like little flavor. It's really, really, really chewy. It's really chewy. It's really rubbery. It's not like salmon or tuna. As sashimi, which is how they market it, how they instruct you to eat it on the package, it's not, it's not hitting, it's not good. I have no problem just eating veggie sushi. It's delicious, I love a good avocado roll, I love all that. This, no, we're moving on. I can't do this. The next item that we have is just plain shrimp. These are from All Vegetarian, they were $12.99 for the bag. There's about 25 pieces in there and a serving size is five pieces. There is a 0 0.75 grams of protein. Stupid. I'm very nervous to eat these, especially after how the coconut shrimp went. These look worse. They look scary. And even trying to like cut one before, you guys, it's gonna be, it's gonna be rubber. I do wanna point out that on this bag, there are no instructions. They do not tell you how to cook these. So that was not helpful at all. Um, I did look them up and saw another blogger had a blog post on it and she just recommended pan frying them until they were crispy. I decided to saute them in vegan butter, garlic, salt and pepper. And I'm gonna add a little lemon juice because that's how I used to eat shrimp. I feel like maybe this will work, but wait till you see these. Look at this. I can't do this. I don't think I can eat this. It's so spongy trying to put a fork in. It's so, oh no, I, no. I can't. <gasps> Here it is. Um, they did an attempt at like the striations, but it's not really there. Like it's just all weirdly colored throughout. All right, I'm just gonna do it. Ew, ew, ew. I can't even bite through it. I literally can't even bite through it. No. Even with me adding like the butter, garlic, all those seasonings, it doesn't taste like anything. It didn't like absorb those flavors and the texture's horrible. I don't know why I made four. I'm not even, I can't even eat one. Would not recommend either shrimp product. Those are both disgusting. Just gonna be honest. Okay, let's move on. Okay, the next item we're tasting is this plant-based tuna. This was $4.99. This is from Good Catch. And honestly, this sounds like a good plant-based alternative. The serving size is one whole pouch and there's 18 grams of protein. Try it plain and then I'm gonna try it. I've seen my brother make like tuna salad and sa like tuna salad sandwiches and stuff and he always mixed it with like mayo and some spices. So that's what I did for this one that we'll be trying and then this one I left plain. I will say it doesn't look as flaky as like a bumblebee can of tuna. It's just more chunky, I guess. Texture's fine. I don't think I like that oil and herb flavor. It's hard to tell because it's an oil and herb, so I don't know if it's the flavoring, that flavoring that's not right, or if it's the actual tuna itself that's a little off. I'm gonna try it with the mayo and spices and see how that is. That's definitely better. So if you wanted to use this and prepare it as a tuna salad and use it on a sandwich or just eat it like that as a snack or for a meal, whatever you want, I think this is definitely the way to go. On its own, there's something, something's not right. Something's not right. I think it is a great option, especially for the amount of protein that you're getting, so. The last item we have to try is this black caviar. I got this from Amazon for $11.30. There's three and a half ounces in here. When I open this, it smells like paint mixed with licorice. That's what it smells like, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm so ready for this whole video to be over. I'm just being honest. The serving size is one tablespoon. There's no, absolutely no protein in this at all. Um, so I'm just gonna take a little bit. Oh my God, I, I can't even take a full tablespoon because I'm just nervous. So I'm gonna take about this much and I just did a little buttered kind of crostini thing because I feel like that's a good way to serve caviar. So that is how I'm gonna have it. Definitely looks like caviar, but let's see. 
It doesn't taste like anything. Even trying a little bit of it on its own, like it doesn't taste like anything. It's fine. It's definitely not bad. It's not offensive. <laughs> Has good texture. It's not like um, squishy or gummy or anything like that. It's texture wise, it's great, but I don't see the need for you to spend $11 on it. Now that we've tried everything, let's just do a quick recap. Overall, <laughs> I think it is safe to say there is a lot of work that needs to be done in the vegan seafood department. This was rough. My three favorite items here were the fish sticks, the crab cakes, and the fish filet. All of those were really, really good, and they were even better with the addition of a little lemon juice and vegan tartar sauce or like a vegan aioli. The things I think you should skip. Do not waste your money on these products. Do not even bother trying them. They are just flat out not good. Are the tuna and salmon sashimi both of those blocks are ten dollars that's a lot and they were not good they had no flavor texture was off next i would totally skip both of the shrimp texture was disgusting disgusting would not recommend those the ones i could go either way about are the scallops they're fine i think you can make better scallops at home with mushrooms caviar whatever it was fun it's good it's not it's not bad, it's not great, it's fine. It doesn't really taste like much, but it's a fun little treat if you wanna dress something up or whatever. The salmon burgers were good, actually, they were fine. I just don't know that I would get them again, but I liked that they did at least offer a good amount of plant-based protein. And the last thing is the tuna in the bag. If you were a big fan of like tuna salad sandwiches and things like that, definitely, definitely get those. For me, this is not something that like I'm missing out on and feel like I need to replace because I never ate them. But if you did, definitely, a great option and also a great source of plant-based protein. As a whole for all of these products, I did think that the cooking instructions were very easy to follow. Um, the only two that I thought were not that accurate were the coconut shrimp and the scallops. And then of course the raw shrimp had no instructions at all. So I was not happy about that. But for the rest of the items, the instructions were very straightforward. Do you think these products are luxury products? A lot of them are expensive for the amount of food that you're getting. I feel like they're all just more products that are fun to have every now and again. So I think that covers everything. If you have any questions about any of these products, leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. I will also have all the products I tried in the description bar below if you wanna check them out for yourself. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed. I definitely had fun at times, but not the whole time. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Oh my God, this piece is a thick. I feel like it would bounce, it's so rubbery. Let's try. A little bit. The bounce was a little bit there. My channel. No. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Oh. <laughs> no. Okay. Plus like 7,000 followers. I only have 90 followers. Just bite it, Lauren. Just fucking bite it. $13.99 is way too expensive for trash. Sorry. I can't even believe I put this in my mouth. This is disgusting. Look, I can't even bite through it. Ugh. The... What? Ow. Oh, a fork. Beautiful Benjamin! <laughs> I'm full body chills. I feel agita and I feel heartburn. Hey, you can do this. You can do this. No. No. I'll cut that out. I can't do this job.